past six years, the government also reports our government revenue and surplus to the International Monetary Fund. They underreport over the past six years $200 billion of Singapore money that they did not report to Singaporeans. Now they tell the IMF that we have $200 billion more that they did not return to us. Do you think it is fair? Do you think that the government should be so untransparent to you? Yeah. Now we have another speaker. We have another speaker, a young speaker before Wei Wei Leong and I. Uh, one, uh, this is a young man called Daryl C. Can we please invite Daryl C onto the stage?
I know. Our ministers, they will win. 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 They Let's go, let's go, let's go! 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 HDB flat prices rise, minimum sum rises. When will we ever have enough money to retire? All the money you have saved, all used to pay for the HDB flat. You won't have enough money to retire. You will not be able to touch your minimum sum. Right, how can Singaporeans ever hope to touch your hard-earned CDF money? And right now, in Singapore, only 60% of Singaporeans are married. 40% are singles, single parents, or divorcees. But yet, only housing grants, all the housing grants are skewed towards these married people. Single parents, households, singles, are they not citizens? Do they pay taxes? I think all Singaporeans pay taxes. GST first, GST But yet, the Singapore government cherry picks the married couples and directs the housing grants to them. So many singles around, so many single parents around. But yet, they are not allowed to buy flats. Singles can only buy once they hit 35 years old. The thing is, why are we treated so unfairly? Why are the 40% of Singaporeans treated so unfairly? Because you can! Do they pay less taxes than married couples? No one, right? Whether people want to marry or not, also they are Tai Chi one. It's government Tai Chi, man. No, right? And we also know the government allows many new citizens every year. All the important new citizens. They are married, they also get to apply for BTO. But our single Singaporeans, let's say for the guys who serve NS, after serving two years of NS, you still have to wait until 35 years, then you can buy a flat. But these important new citizens, they come in, they can just buy a flat already if they are married. Why would Singaporean born citizens have to wait behind these important people? Is it fair or not? Precisely, what is our citizenship for? Yes, we are like a second class citizen in our own country. We know that our KP government rewards their own supporters. They are grassroots leaders. Those good leaders in PA. In the CCs, they get priority for BTO application. What do these people do for us? Every election, they help PAP hang banners on it. And then they get priority. Is this fair or not? So, we tell, here we tell our government, Tolong lah, please, treat us all equally. Please be reasonable. Lower your HDB flat prices. But we all know the government is not really listening to us. But if it continues this way, 下个大选我们就把它踢出去。